Greetings and welcome back. How is your holiday going? Oh wow. Really? You've been keeping busy. In a relaxing way of course. <laughs> oh, that's that's incredible. Excellent. Well, would you like to walk with me? Hmm, yes. Let's just follow this trail of rose petals. It will lead us to your ocean hut. Hmm, you heard it right, yes. We will have our cocktail making class there. Your hut is located over the water with glass bottom floors. You will see it once we're up there. Have a look as we walk. Beautiful scenery, isn't it? Mm, I agree. The ocean is always relaxing. And these exotic flowers. The beach, the sand just adds to the overall feeling of relaxation. Don't you agree? So here we are. Mm -hmm. We will have our cocktail making class here in this hut. As I said, just look down for a second. You see the glass bottom floors? Mm -hmm. Yes, it's exactly so you can see the swimming fish. You can actually open this up from here. And if you wanted to, you can feed the fish using this bucket over here. Ah, oh, yeah, they're beautiful. I mean, they do say watching fish is very relaxing. I have to agree. Oh, there goes a turtle. <laughs> Amazing, isn't it? Uh, we can keep it closed now, but also remember, at night, we have lights below, so you can actually turn them on by pressing this, and it will attract the fish. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. With the lights at night, actually the fish look quite different and even more colorful and much nicer. Definitely try it out. Your bed. As you can see over there, king size, just like you requested. It's all ready for you whenever you'd like to dive in, literally. <laughs> mm -hmm. This is a private hut, so everything you see here is specially prepared for you. Mm -hmm. If you like to step this side with me, please. Mmm, yes. We prepared your very own hot tub. Yes, so you can relax in there while we mix your drinks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> it's bubbling with delightful aromas. We selected them especially for this occasion. Those are rose and jasmine petals. It's floating in your hot tub. Mm -hmm. You can probably smell them all the way from here. Mm. Delightful. We surrounded your hot tub with lightly scented candles. They're floral, as you can smell, I'm sure. We believe that will add to the overall scent of freshness. Ocean breeze, the bubbling hot tub with the petals in it. Hopefully, they will keep you relaxed and refreshed, enhancing the taste of many of the gorgeous cocktails we're going to make today. Mm -hmm. That's the purpose of me being here for now. And you can ask for anything you want. If you need anything, we will do our best to provide it for you. Oh, and remember, you do not have to include anything in your cocktail that you do not want. Just say the word, and we will proceed to the next one. 
That's fine, you can taste as much as you like. Oh, that's the band on the beach that we specially hired for keeping you entertained. Hopefully it will let you indulge in the spirit of the holiday even further. Hmm. Beautiful music is food for the soul. Don't you agree? <laughs> well, your satisfaction is our primary purpose. So yes, we have thought of everything. Look around you. Candles. Soft lamps. Twinkle lights to set the mood, cold bottles of water, champagne, exotic fruit juices. We will be doing a lot of blended drinks and a selection of cocktails for you. And relaxing music played for you, practically at your doorstep. <sighs> And all we ask for you to do is to smile, sit back, relax, and enjoy. Mm -hmm. That's okay, I'll look away. Please do go into the hot tub and make yourself comfortable. In the meantime, I will set up the table right here will be where I will show you various cocktails and how to make them. Mm -hmm. Okay, I will be right back. So, are we ready now? Excellent. Our cocktails are made up of beverages containing a mixture of intoxicating alcohol or non-alcoholic drinks, combined with other ingredients, such as fruit juices. Mm -hmm. And they're all served with exotic and colorful presentations, accompanied by tropical fruits, crushed ice, umbrellas, sparklers, paper flowers, and so on. That's why it makes them ideal for summertime. We usually serve them in unusually shaped drinking glasses, like these ones here. And um, sometimes, depending on the drink, we could frost it by dipping the rim into lemon juice or sugar, even salt. Um, we use colorful drink coasters like these ones. Yes, the presentation is very important. It needs to look nice, look pretty, and it will taste even more beautiful. Okay. Mm -hmm. We add straws if you like. We use these cocktail sticks to twist skewer fruits and place on the rim of drinking glasses. And now I will show you tools of our trade. <laughs> These are for professional cocktail makers and could look quite fancy, but I will show you. Each and every one you can actually replace with a normal household item if you wanted to do this at home. Okay? Now this is a measure or a jigger as we call it. But you can use an egg cup, which will be fine just for this purpose. This is probably you can tell where we will be shaking our cocktails, cocktail shaker. You can just use a thermos flask for this, no problem at all. And this is a muddler. Mm, it does look like a small rolling pin, so you can use that for the end of a wooden spoon. This is a juicer, but you can use your hands to squeeze the juice out of the fruit. <sighs> I am sure you're strong enough. Mm. Then this here, mixing spoon. So you can just use a long teaspoon or a fork handle. 
And this is finally a strainer. If you like tea, this will look familiar to you. And you can use tea strainer. It will work just as good. Now, let's start. We will start with a very popular beach cocktail. I'm sure you have heard of this. Pina Colada. <laughs> to make Pina Colada, first of all, I'm going to use this hurricane glass. See, it's a pear shaped glass, which will be perfect for our Pina Colada drink. I will use 3 ounces of rum, 3 tablespoons of coconut milk. But if you prefer it to be a bit more alcoholic even, you can use Malibu instead. And 3 tablespoons of crushed pineapples. Okay, here we go. Let's give it a good mix. Here we go. I'm going to add this umbrella. What color would you like? Okay, here you go. And finally, bring it over to you. There you go. Tell me what do you think? Hmm. Very good. If you're not fond of alcohol as much, I'll actually show you another recipe. It's very similar to pina colada, but this is banana colada. See what I did there? <laughs> For that, what we need, I'll use a similar glass, okay, so you can compare. We need three medium bananas chunked, mm -hmm. and one cup of skimmed milk. 8 ounces of pineapple juice and 6 tablespoons coconut cream and if you have a sweet tooth 2 tablespoons of sugar To make it quite more exotic I'm going to add one and a half tablespoons of ground allspice and finally two cups of crushed ice excellent now that we placed all of this in our blender bananas, milk, pineapple juice, cream of coconut just gonna start blending them in into a puree. There we go. Now we're going to add the ice. Blend again until it's smooth. Hmm, looks very tasty. Here we go. Ready. I'll bring that over for you. Hmm. Glad you're enjoying it. Next is quite a popular drink again because it's got strawberries in it. And come on, who doesn't like strawberries? Strawberry daiquiri. I will serve this in a cocktail glass. Yep, or upside down triangle shaped glass. If you're familiar with cocktails, cosmopolitan is usually served in this class. And the ingredients for this cocktail are half ounces of strawberry schnapps, an ounce of light rum, an ounce of lime juice, squeeze that. Good squeeze. This I'm going to use one tablespoon of powdered sugar. 
Mm -hmm. And of course, a an house of strawberries. I'm adding all the ingredients into the blender again. With a bit of ice. And blend. Blend, 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 blend. Okay, stop. And then strain them using our strainer into our cocktail glass here. Voila! And I will garnish this with a strawberry. Excellent. Here you go. I hope you enjoy that. You don't have to finish any cocktails you don't want to. You can just taste them. But you're welcome to drink as many as you like, so... Okay, yes, of course. Again, if you're not really keen on alcohol, I will show you another strawberry cocktail recipe that's completely alcohol-free. And for this recipe, which I'm going to call tropical strawberry, we need, once again, one and a half cups of strawberries, one cup of pineapple chunks, half a cup of milk, goes in the milk, one and a half cups of yogurt, mm, yum, and two tablespoons of white sugar. Excellent. Finally, one cup of crushed ice. And once again, we're putting them all into our blender. Blending the strawberries, the pineapple, the milk, the yogurt, the sugar and ice all together until it's smooth. I'm using this hurricane glass again. Hmm. It's very popular for cocktails because you can see the colors, see? You can see all sorts of colors in your pinks and oranges and bright reds. Hmm. I'm gonna garnish that with another strawberry. There we go. Enjoy. Our final strawberry recipe is called Strawberry Kiss. <laughs> and this one I'm going to serve in wine and goblet. And for that, we're going to use three ounces of strawberry puree, one and a half ounce of pineapple juice. It's going to be a little zesty because I'm going to use half an ounce of lemon juice. Squeeze that lemon in there. And half an ounce of whipping cream. Yum, yum, yum. Half tablespoons of caster sugar. Alright. We are going to blend this one briefly with half a glass full of crushed ice in this wine goblet, like I said. Mm. There we go. And then we're gonna garnish it with half a caster sugar coated strawberry. Oh, it's going to be very sweet. I warn you now. Here we go. Strawberry kiss. Enjoy. The next cocktail is called Mimosa. This one is very quick, easy and painless, okay? Because you will say it requires only two ingredients. And it's especially good if you're looking for that early morning eye opener. Mm -hmm. Enjoyed by both men and women. It includes champagne and orange juice. So it will go really well with a hearty breakfast in the morning. 
a while enjoying your morning sunrise out on your balcony. Mm -hmm. Actually, it's just good for any time of the day or night. A fantastic way to start of a day. The beach and keep that beach buzz going, you know? I'm going to use a Collins glass for this one. All we're going to do is add two ounces of orange juice and fill the rest in with bubbly champagne. And I'm going to add two ice cubes. One, two. There we go. I'm gonna stir it really gently because it's really bubbling up right now. We're using the best champagne. What else? I'm going to set this here and going to show you a slightly different twist on it. This one is called Passion Mimosa, and instead of orange juice, we're going to use two ounces of chilled passion fruit juice and strawberries so so we're going to yeah, just mix the champagne with the passion fruit juice fill it with yeah, needs to be chilled champagne nothing else will do and then decorate it with a strawberry the cocktail is served Next, we're going to do a peach mimosa and this is just going to be instead of passion fruit, we're going to have half ounce of peach schnapps, one ounce of orange juice and four ounces of champagne. Mix them all in, stir gently and garnish with a slice of peach. Here we go. Get the picture. Mm hmm. Okay. If you don't enjoy alcohol, I'm going to show you a non alcoholic version of this, which is just as delicious. This one is called Momosa. Okay. I'm going to serve this in a highball glass, which is just a very tall glass. Straight, like this one here. For this, we're going to use 5 ounces of orange juice, of course, 5 ounces of ginger ale, a dash of mango nectar, and one piece of madrin. And what I'm going to do here is, I'm going to pour the orange juice and the ginger ale equal parts into this chilled highball glass then I'm going to add the mango nectar stir just once or twice like this then I'm going to garnish it with a speared mandarin piece and serve it to you there we go enjoy next we have a sunny delight. <laughs> For this, we're going to use one shot of triple sec. Oh, that is a strong, sweet, but colorless orange flavored liqueur. It's made from the dried peels of bitter or sweet orange. Hmm. Three shots of lemon or vodka, one shot of club soda, and a dash of lemon. And we're going to fill it with orange juice. There we go. We're going to use the shot glasses, pour the vodka and the triple sec together. Squeeze the lemon lightly and then place it on the rim. Mm -hmm. 
that's when we add the sunny delight and a shot of club soda. Ta-da! There you go. It's a very refreshing drink indeed. And I will do a substitute one. Non-alcoholic version as well. This one's called Pineapple Delight Smoothie. For that we need two cups of milk. Two frozen banana chunked, six pineapple rings, and a tablespoon of honey. In the blender, we're going to combine milk, the bananas, pineapple, and honey, and then we're going to blend it until smooth. Actually, I'm going to add this umbrella, the sparkler as well. There you go, pineapple delight. <laughs> Next is going to be a very pink colored drink. It's called Flamingo Punch. And for that, I'm going to use ounces of white rum and half an ounce of dark rum. One and a half ounce of pineapple juice. Again, one and a half of orange juice. And one ounce of sweet and sour mix. You see how I built them all in this ice filled hurricane glass here? Yep. And finally, garnish it with an orange slice and a lemon wheel. There you go. Enjoy. Next one is a slightly different cocktail. It's called Raspberry Chocolate Smoothie. It's non-alcoholic. For this, I'm going to use three quarters of chocolate soy milk. Three quarters of chocolate sorbet, one and a half cups of raspberries, fresh raspberries, might I add, half a peeled banana, all sliced up, like so, and one fresh mint leaf, chopped up, like so. And for this, just very easy, in a blender, we're gonna blend the soy milk, the sorbet, raspberries and banana until it's smooth. And then we're going to garnish it with mint and serve. There you go. <laughs> My pleasure, as always. Hmm. Next. Fruit -a la la <laughs> yes, it's a fun cocktail, and it's got fun ingredients. Six cherries. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six strawberries. One, two, three, four, five, six. And six raspberries. One, two, three, four, five, six. One petless peach. Mm -hmm. Twelve grapes. I prefer red grapes. But we could use green grapes too. Depends on your taste buds, really. One, two, three, four, five. Nine, ten, eleven. Where's the last one? Oh, mind you. Twelve. Finally, we're going to use a banana too. Chop it all up. Excellent. Now, if you prefer non alcoholic version, we'll stop here. 
But if not, I'm going to add a hundred milliliter of vodka. Which is it going to be? Okay. Now that they're all in the blender, I'm going to blend it until smooth. Fruit de la la <laughs> is ready to be served. There you go. The next one is a very green smoothie. And it will give you a lot of energy. <sighs> Avocado energy smoothie. As the name suggests, for this we're going to use two peeled and pitted and cubed avocados. Half a cup of ice. Quarter cup of maple syrup. Half a cup of milk. Very, very fresh indeed. And 14 ounces of sweetened condensed milk for that extra sweetness. And two cups of vanilla flavored powder. We're going to combine all the ingredients in the blender and puree until it's smooth. Like so. And then I'm going to serve it in this tall, stylish glass. I'm going to add an avocado garnish on top. There we go. Next one we're going to do is called the Coco Tropico Smoothie. For this, I'm going to use a Collins glass. Like so. And we're going to use 4 ounces of coconut rum, 3 dashes of rich cream, mm, yummy, 1 pint of milk, 2 bananas, mm, 1 tablespoon of honey, or oh, 2, alright, whatever you like. And four handfuls of crushed ice. Oh, let's not forget the peach as well. There we go. We're going to blend all the ingredients until they're smooth and creamy. Hmm. I'm gonna use the chill glass, of course. And pour the contents over ice. This is a perfect afternoon drink in the sun, actually. Mm. Really, really refreshing and it cools you instantly. It serves many, actually. It's a lot of it, as you can see. Mm. And here is another non alcoholic drink. It's very easy for this. It's called apple and starfruit juice. And we're going to use three apples, two freshly picked starfruits. Yeah, they do look beautiful, don't they? And a tablespoon of sugar. Let's combine them all together. Ready to be served. Excellent. Have you had enough already? <laughs> How do you feel? Oh, that's okay. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you're enjoying it. Mm. We're going to finish off our session with a very special recipe. This is a very special captain's recipe. I won't tell you who it is until you have tasted it and perhaps you can guess. Okay, there are two versions for this. The first one is stronger, but the second one is richer. So see which one you like more. Okay, for the 
first version of the captain's recipe, we're going to use one and a half ounces of rum, two ounces of original spiced rum, two ounces of peach liqueur, and nine ounces of pineapple juice. We're going to use this glass and add six size cubes into it. And now we're going to add the rum and the spiced rum. Then we're going to add the peach liqueur and the pineapple juice. Just need to leave enough room at the top for the foam. It's because we're going to be shaking this and it's going to make this beautiful creamy foam on top. Okay, start to shake. Shake, 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 shake. We have to shake until the ice cubes are pretty much melted, okay? And then, here we are, ready to be served. The next version, as I said, going to be a bit richer. This one requires two ounces of Anejo tequila, one ounce of private stock dark rum, three ounces of lemonade soda, a splash of Maracino's cherry juice, half ounce of orange schnapps, Two maraschino cherries. We're going to drop the cherries and some ice into the cyborg glass. Then we're going to pour the anejo tequila, the dark rum, the lemonade, and the orange schnapps into the glass. And finally, add a splash of cherry juice on top. Here. Can you guess, Captain? Oh. <laughs> um. Oh yes, the Captain's infamous around here. He does visit us regularly. He enjoys our massages the most. Oh yes. He prefers... Stronger drinks. <laughs> As you can imagine. Hmm. Oh, he's very, very happy that we have named a few cocktails after him. He likes fame, I think. <laughs> now... If you'll excuse me, thank you, I hope you enjoy the rest of your stay. As I said, please feel free to remain in the hot tub and relax if you like. You can taste or drink any of the cocktails we prepared today, you can make your own. Your bed is right there, overlooking the ocean, and we can always watch the sea through the glass bottom floor or by just relaxing on your bed. You can go for a swim if you like. Of course, that's also possible. Or I can arrange for another massage for you. Whatever you like, just let us know and we will be here for you. Thank you. Enjoy the rest of your evening. Bye for now. Thank you.